going on people this is Speederman here once again with another film review and this time I'm talking about a movie called Filth yes simply called Filth starring James McAvoy uh, which you guys might know him from uh, Professor X and all the X-Men movies but uh, this film is very different from any X-Men uh, <laughs> character uh, well yes yeah, so this is a film about this cop First of all, this is a Scottish film, and uh, most of the dialogue I did not understand, you know, because the Scottish language is very, they talk very fast, and I didn't really know the slang, so I tried to understand as much as possible. But what I did understand was that it's about, it's a story about this corrupt cop in Scotland, and he has a bipolar disorder, he has a lot of mental issues, he has a dark past. He also is a freaking sex addict, a junkie, and he tries to manipulate uh, people. Uh, pretty much the most corrupt cop you can think of. And I've seen a lot of movies like this. I mean, I'm sort of drawn to these type of films, you know, like, like with the, you know, like, uh, what's that movie called? Bad Lieutenant, you know? It kind of reminded me of Bad Lieutenant. Uh, I think that's, the, that's what the film was called. Uh, but one thing I got to say, though, like, the beginning of this film like the way it starts off um, reminded me a lot about this film called romper stomper it starts off the same way and I was like whoa man I had a moment of deja vu you know I was like I seen this type of scene before exactly like how that film starts um, so I'm pretty sure it was somehow influence it was somehow in ten, some ways in some ways it was intentional to put that in there maybe a uh, tribute to that film uh, but yeah this wow this film is very like it's very unpredictable and it has a lot of sex a lot of weird sexual shenanigans uh, like there's a lot of drug use but I think there's more more sex scenes than drug use in this film um, just random off the wall crazy bad shit you know uh, and I kind of liked it you know I liked it because the movie starts to get really, just when the movie starts to kind of slow down, it hits you with like this freaking random, weird, uh, either sexual drugs or, you know, just weird shit. A weird scene that comes out of fucking left field. And, um, yeah, I like that about this film. The film was really unpredictable at times. It's very, you know, it kind of lives up to the name of filth because the, this cop that, uh, James McAvoy plays he's very filthy I mean he just doesn't give a fuck he does whatever he wants and the moment he does it he doesn't no fucks given man so uh, that's the character he pretty much carries the whole film and yeah man I mean we have other uh, actors that I recognize but yeah it's mostly just him carrying the whole film um, there's prostitutes in here uh, there's just a lot of crazy crap in here I don't want to say too much of the story, but it's just it's a film that yeah I think a lot of people will like if you're like into films like uh, what's that film called uh, Train Spotting? Had similar themes to Train Spotting in here, uh, the similar uh, style that it's filmed reminded me of that film Romper Stomper like I said earlier. Uh, yeah, it's just a very crazy unpredictable film, and I would say this is. In the category of horror comedy drama, because there's some drama in here. So, horror comedy thriller, cop thriller, I guess you could say. But it's very weird seeing James McAvoy um, do it like a Scottish accent. I think he's actually Scottish, but it's very weird to see him talk in a Scottish accent because I'm used to, you know, him playing American characters, used to seeing him as Professor X and all these other American films. So, it's like. I had to get used to that. That was the first thing I had to get used to when I was watching this film. But, yeah, man. Very crazy film. Um, yeah, I recommend it. I would say go out and buy it. Um, just because it was a weird film. And I like weird films. I give this film a 7.5 out of 10. You know. Uh, yeah, 7.5 out of 10. If you guys can stream it, go ahead. But I would definitely you know get this on blu-ray you know it's definitely a movie you could watch again and again you know and you'll still be you know surprised by it um 
But I will say though, this film is not for kids. And if uh, sex and drugs and all that, sex, violence and drugs, all that stuff offends you, uh, yeah, this, you're probably not going to like this film, you know. Um, but yeah, I would recommend Filth, starring James McAvoy. 100 subscribers. Peace.